1.21.5 Vein Miner mod is out and available and I'm gonna teach you how to install it super easy and super quick. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the first step to install the Vein Miner mod for Minecraft 1.21.5 is to click the second link in the description which is a written guide on how to download and install this mod. This is a very in-depth guide in case you were to get lost at any moment. Once you're over here on the second link, let's scroll down until you see the step one and in here you're going to see three different files or at least three different buns. One of them is for the Vein Miner, one of them is for Silk and the other one is for Fabric Language Kotlin. These are two dependencies that the vein miner has and a dependency is just pretty much another mod that is required by the main mod to be able to work properly. Now we'll download those later. First, let's download the vein miner. Click on the first button in here, which is going to redirect you to the vein miner page where we're going to choose the game version 1.21.5 and then we're going to download the one that is compatible with Fabric, which all of them should. Also look out for the R or the B on the left side. The R is the official release while the B is the beta, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and download this recent one in here that has 110,000 downloads. Just go ahead and click on this green arrow in here and the download will begin right away. Now, we also wanna go back to that second link in the description and we wanna go ahead and click on the silk button which is going to take us to this page where we're going to select 1.21.5 and we're going to download Silk. Also, go back to that first page, click on the FL Kotlin button that is going to take you over here. And again, we're going to choose 1.21.5 and then we're gonna go ahead and download the 1.21.5 version for Fabric. Go ahead and hit download. And now we should have three files downloaded in our computer. Now let's go ahead and drag and drop those three files into our desktop. Simply click here on the recent download history and drag and drop it into your desktop those three files. Now, at this moment, if you already have Fabric installed and you also have the Fabric API mod added into your mods folder, just add these mods into there and you should have Vein working already. But I'm assuming most of you don't have Fabric installed and that's why you're watching this video. Let's go ahead and install Fabric as well. Click on the third link in the description, which is our written guide on how to download and install Fabric. If you were to get lost again, you could always come back to this guide in here and follow a very, very step-by-step -step in depth guide, okay? But I'm gonna make it quick for you guys. Let's scroll down to step one and click on the Fabric button. That is going to redirect you to the Fabric website where we're going to hit Download Universal Jar. That'll begin the download for the Fabric installer right away. And just like we did earlier, we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop this file into our desktop. Now, if you go back into the official Vein Miner page, you will see in the description that it requires Fabric API. So we're gonna go ahead and download that as well. If you go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description, you'll be brought over here to the Fabric API page where we're gonna head over to versions and we're gonna look for the 1.21.5 and we're gonna go ahead and download it as well. And I promise you guys, this should be the last file you download. Let's go ahead and put this in the desktop next to our Fabric installer. And now we are ready to begin. The first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have played Minecraft 1.21.5 at least once on your computer. You don't have to do much. You just have to open the game and then close it. And then go ahead and close the Minecraft launcher as well. With the Minecraft launcher closed, just go ahead and double click on the Fabric installer to open the Fabric installer. Now, once the Fabric installer opens, and by the way, if it didn't open, don't worry, I'm gonna teach you how to fix that in a second. Once it opens, just go ahead and hit install. And like I said, if it didn't open for you guys, that might be due because you don't have Java 21. You will need Java 21. This is not optional, okay? This is a requirement. You will need Java 21 in order to install any mod for any Minecraft above Minecraft 1.21.5. So I'm going to leave this guide in the description for you guys to download Java 21 and update the Java in your computer because that is the most common issue I see all the time when people are trying to mod and they are not able to do it. Once we install Fabric, you'll get this successfully installed Fabric prompt in here. Go ahead and hit OK and then go ahead and close the Fabric installer. You can now even delete the Fabric installer from your desktop because you don't need it anymore. More. Now we have four files in here, which we need to add to our Minecraft installation folder. There's multiple ways to open the Minecraft installation folder. One of my favorite ways is to just press the Windows key plus the R key on your keyboard at the same time. Once you press Windows plus R, you will get the run command open. In here, go ahead and delete anything that you have in there and then type the following percentage app data and then percentage one more time and then hit OK. That is going to open a folder while you have a couple other files and we're going to open the dot Minecraft folder, which is our Minecraft installation folder. Now in here, we're looking for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S, and my mods folder is right here, but I'm actually going to delete it. And the reason I deleted it is to teach you what to do if you don't have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you could click on new, click on folder, and then name it mods, because yeah, you could create the mods folder yourself. Now go ahead and open this mods folder in here, and now just drag and drop all the files that we downloaded earlier, the Fabric API, the Fabric language Kotlin, Bay Miner and Silk, 
all together into this folder. You don't need to add the fabric installer in here, just these four files in here. Now, make sure that every file that you added in here, it's the 1.21.5 version of the game, because if not, it's going to cause some issues. Once you have all those files in here, go ahead and close out from this folder, and now go ahead and open the Minecraft launcher. Now, guys, before we keep going, if you use the Vein Miner online, you'll be banned. So if you don't want to be banned from using the vein miner, you have to use it on a single player world or on your own server. And if you don't have a server, you could create a server using the first link in the description where Apex Hosting will give you 40% off right now. That's the biggest discount they have ever offered. And they will give it to you if you use that first link. Now that 40% is only a limited time deal. It's going to go back down to 25% off, which is still pretty good. But if I were you, I'll take advantage of that 40% off right now. Now they also support over 200 mod packs that you can install with just a click of a button. And they also have locations all around the world, so you don't have to worry about lagging. Just go ahead and use that first link in the description. Thank you, Apex Hosting. And now let's keep going with the installation of Vein Miner. Now, once the Minecraft launcher opens, if we install Fabric properly, we should see selected here automatically, which as you can see, mine is. And you're gonna head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected for you to see it, okay? We need to have Fabric in here. Now, another way that you could open the Minecraft installation folder in case the window plus R key didn't work for you is just by pressing this little folder in here and you get the Minecraft installation folder. But now it's time to go ahead and test the mod. Let's go ahead and hit on play. If you get this prompt in here, you could read more about play safety features and then you're gonna hit understand the risk and click play one more time. Now, once the game opens, guys, this is pretty important. I don't recommend that you use this mod online. And to be honest, I don't even know if it works online unless you own the server or you have permission from the server owner because you will be banned if you get caught using any type of cheats online. So I always recommend that you create your own server and remember that with the first link in the description, you will get a great discount with Apex Hosting. Now, if we install the Vein Miner mod properly, we should be able to just mine every single ore just by literally mining one of them. Now, guys, if you go back to that second link in the description, you will also see this option in the quick navigation, which is called Vein Miner Hotkey. And if you scroll down there, you will see that you have the option to download this other mod in here, which pretty much gives you an outline of the whole ore blocks that you're about to mine. And also it lets you assign one key on your keyboard to mine the whole vein, and it also lets you mine normally like regular Minecraft does with just one block at a time. That option is going to be down there in that second article and it's called Vein Miner Hotkey. You could click in here and go ahead and download it and then just add it like a regular mod. If this video helped you, don't forget to subscribe and as always, bye bye.